Hey guys, it's Davin Lim, board certified dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about simple acne scar treatments that you can do at home. So the first thing, acne scars, what are they? How do they form and how do we grade them? Acne scars, if you think about it logically, can be one of two types. Firstly, you can have pigment changes. So with the pigment changes, you can have darker skin. It's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. You have acne scars, which are red. It's called post-inflammatory erythema or PIE or macular erythema. Now, these types of acne scars can be managed quite well at home, right? Because they are flat to begin with. So what we want to do is we want to normalize the skin texture and the skin tone. In other words, your pigment to decrease, your redness to decrease, to match that of your underlying skin tone. And how do we do this? So firstly, post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. What we need to do is to protect your skin from further stimulation of pigment. And what you could do is to use a high factor SPF sunscreen. Use that twice a day. That's essential and that's the first step. So secondly, you can use simple ingredients and it can be as simple as something like a salicylic acid wash. Geology makes some good products, but you can buy salicylic acid from, for example, La Roche-Posay and other brands. So what salicylic acid does is that it helps exfoliate skin. So if you have too much pigment buildup on the surface of the skin, by reducing the actual amount of buildup, you can improve skin and hence decrease pigmentation and have brighter skin. Thereafter, you can use specific products, for example, like azalic acid, kojic acid. You can also use skin lightening products, for example, like arbutin and other pigment reduction creams. Now, when we talk about PIE or post-inflammatory erythema, those are red acne scars. These are a little bit more challenging to treat. However, using something like a vitamin B, in other words, B3, which is niacinamide, can reduce skin inflammation. Certainly with sunscreens that can reduce the incidence of PIE. So remember guys, keep it really simple. Use sunscreens for both post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, brown spots, post-inflammatory erythema reduces red spots, and then use specific ingredients based upon what you want to achieve. Both for PIE and PIH, in other words, brown and red, retinol can sometimes help. What I like doing is starting patients very low. So something like a 0.1% retinol. And once again, geology makes some good products. You can increase that from 0.1% to 0.2 and then 0.3. Many different brands out there start slow, escalate as tolerated. So guys, this video is sponsored by Geology. Geology makes awesome products because they've been formulated and invented by dermatologists. So guys, you can find a lot of these products in the description down below. So now we talked about flat acne scars, we talked about brown, we talked about red. What about scars which are depressed? So these are called atrophic acne scars and you have many different types including your box scar scarring, which is kind of shallow, your rolling acne scars, but also your ice pick scars, which are deeper, and your deep atrophic scars, which are basically fat loss. Now, depending on the scar type, you can use specific treatments. For example, with deep ice pick scars, you can use something as simple as a skincare acid or simple skin-based acid to treat the deep scar. So that's called TCA. Now you can use lasers and energy devices, or you can use even simple things like microneedling that can help. Now from a home-based treatment, the use of retinol, simple vitamin A applied to the scar, especially an early scar, can help remodel the scar itself and decrease the amount of depression and improve your collagen production. So once again, I like treating most acne scars with retinol of some sort to help remodel collagen. And you can use something as simple as a 0.1% retinol-based serum, thereafter increasing as tolerated. Your healthcare professional might prescribe you something called a retinoid. And retinoids, they do work a little bit better than retinols. However, the downside is that number one, they're prescription-based. And number two, most of them will have some kind of side effects. For example, redness, drying, stinging, or a little bit of skin irritation. So you need to modulate your use according to how sensitive your skin type is. What I like to tell patients is that even though we do office-based procedures, for example, your fractional laser resurfacing or your subcision or your deep chemical peels, using a simple adjunctive skin care routine at home can also amplify your results. Hence, that's why we always say start on the vitamin A, whether it be a 
office space retinoid or an at home retinol. The idea of vitamin C, vitamin E, and folic acid is to help protect your skin. It's a very powerful antioxidant. It can also help with photo aging because it can help build up collagen. And importantly, it can treat pigmentation, especially with the ascorbic acid or the vitamin C side of things. So guys, what about lasers in the context of acne scars? Well, there are different types of lasers. You can use vascular lasers, in other words, lasers which target pigment, right? For example, redness, you can have Pico lasers or nano lasers, they target brown hyperpigmentation. And then you can have lasers, including fractional laser resurfacing that targets atrophic scars. Now, in the context of treating red scars, vascular lasers don't break your skin. They have a cooling system which protects your skin and targets the hemoglobin or targets the blood vessels underneath your skin. Now, when we talk about fractional laser resurfacing, these lasers basically go into the deeper areas of skin called the dermis. And depending on the depth of the scar, we may use different types of fractional lasers. CO2 lasers and erbium lasers can penetrate deep into the skin and cause marked and profound remodeling of collagen. The downside about erbium and CO2 lasers is that they are painful. They are associated with a longer recovery time, anywhere between four days all the way up to two weeks. The last thing I'll tell you, and it's the most important thing, is get on a routine. If you do have active acne, make sure you mitigate scarring to begin with. So start on a precise, home-implemented acne skincare range that can reduce your acne and hence mitigate more scars in the future. Guys, that's a really simple video. I hope you can take something out of this and at the end of the day, have accurate treatments for your acne scars.